Hi guys, welcome to the RPP Resonance Commission. Now we are discussing about uh, another important lecture in CSIR net advanced diamond reactions. Okay, now we discussed another lecture of C double bond C formation, which is nothing but a Corey Winter fragmentation. Corey Winter fragmentation. Now here, uh, with the help of Corey Winter fragmentation, we will prepare the olefins from vicinal diols from vicinal diols okay so the general definition of core winter fragmentation is vicinal diols can be converted into olefins via the cyclic thionocarbonate formation uh, the cyclic thionocarbonate formation from where where it is formed from diols okay diols treated with a pasgin like a dichlorothiopasgin thio pasgin okay followed by now here bracket is closed followed by cleavage of cyclic thionocarbonate with the help of with the help of trivalent phosphorate trivalent phosphate so those are PO are taken thrice or PR3 taken thrice or such types who use the like this type of phosphorates also phenyl methyl methyl now here which is nothing but 1 comma 3 dimethyl 2 phenyl 1 2 3 diaja phosphoridine 1 2 3 diaja phosphoridine so which is the best reagent to prepare the vicinal diols to olefins vicinal diols to olefins now we'll go through the reaction so the reaction is so now here it is a vicinal diols vicinal means adjacent okay so generally this means adjacent okay so adjacent diols can treated with a like a, which is called phosgene COCl2 is called phosgene so whenever I substitute the oxy, uh, sulfur atom instead of oxygen now we will get we will call it as a thiopasgene thiopasgene so these diols treated with thiopasgene now we will get the O O like a carbon double bond yes so these these are called uh, like a thionocarbonate okay now here it is a thionocarbonate okay so this thionocarbonate treated with a uh, excess of like a 2 or 2.5 equivalents of a trivalent phosphorus atom now we will get the olefins here it is olefins as well as p double bond s r3 plus co2 plus co2 these are the byproducts okay so this is the simplest representation of core winter fragmentation now we'll go through the clear cut mechanism about uh, core winter fragmentation mechanism so we'll discuss the mechanism two or three steps okay now here oh oh whenever it which is treated with uh, like a thionopasgene so cl cl double bond yes so in presence of dmap okay like a dimethyl four dimethyl four dimethyl aminopyridine okay uh, four nn dimethyl aminopyridine uh, like uh, now it is converts into like a thionocarbonates, thionocarbonates. Now, whenever the, these these type of thionocarbonates will be treated with a PR3, that means here it is a P uh, having the lone pair of electrons. That lone pair of electrons will attack over the like a electrophilic center of sulfur atom. Now, here it creates the carbon ion. Here it creates the carbon ion. O, O, carbon having the negative charge, sulfur. PR3 okay now here it is plus okay now here it is positive charge so now here it may be possible to form the two types of reactions whenever these negative charge attack over the phosphorus atom now here it creates the O O carbon carbon like a sulfur here it is P PR3 PR3 okay now it may be possible or it may be possible okay so now here O O so this carbon atom Okay, now carbon atom having the negative charge, 
Okay, so this carbon atom negative charge now here the sulfur carbon bonded to electrons will uh, removed from the carbon atom now here it forms the like a P double bond SR3 in case of Wittig reactions we will get the like a P double bond O that is nothing but triphenyl phosphine oxide okay now here uh, thio phosphine oxide now here we will we will get the P double bond SR3 okay whenever the carbene ion will lose their two electrons and now it becomes a carbene intermediate carbene intermediate so this carbene intermediate furtherly treated with another mole of PR3 now we will get the O O carbon atom PR3 okay now here x of once in positive charge now here the well uh, like lack of valency now here it creates the negative charge it creates the negative charge okay so this negative charge will shift it towards the like a carbon oxygen double bond now here it it, it creates the uh, it creates the bond like this now here it creates the bond like this okay so whenever now here so C double bond C okay so co2 now here pr3 here it is eliminated as pr3 so whenever here also we will add the some amount of uh, some amount of pr3 okay so this pr3 will attack over there now here it eliminated as uh, like a p double bond s3 okay p double bond s3 then these two bond bonded electrons will shifted over the carbon atom then here it is called negative charge okay now i'll write the very easier manner so whenever the lone pair of a phosphorus atom will attack over the carbon carbon center so now it lost the bonded two electrons will sulfur phosphorus atom uh, single bond now it becomes a double bond now here phosphorus lost their electrons towards the uh, carbon atom then it becomes c minus okay now here it is c minus okay now here it is eliminated so incoming co compound will appear as pr3 plus incoming compound will appear as pr3 plus now again the same situation okay so this is the simplest mechanism of uh, core winter uh, core winter fragmentation now we'll go through the reactions about uh, core winter fragmentations generally uh, core winter reactions will use the like a syn stereospecificity elimination syn elimination okay note this point very clearly so this is a core winter fragmentation will follow this syn elimination okay it is very stereospecific very stereospecific now we we'll go through the some of the examples okay whenever like a, here it is a phenyl phenyl okay this is one comma two diphenyl ethane okay whenever it having the OH like a OH okay which is nothing but anti diols anti diols okay anti diols will treat it with a like a Cl carbon Cl double bond yes C double bond yes okay so now followed by the like PR3 followed by the PR3 so here generally PR3 means a okay I'll repeat it this name again one comma three dimethyl 2 phenyl 2 phenyl 1 2 3 okay so 1 comma 3 dimethyl 2 phenyl 1 2 3 diaja phospholedin diaja phospholedin this is the best trivalent reagent which is used in the like a uh, uh, core winter mechanism okay now we will get the cis product cis stilibin cis still been as a major product why because so whenever uh, the stereo specificity of a uh, like a core winter mechanism sin manner that's why your cc bond rotation requires and now whenever it requires now it is above the plane it is above the plane okay now here it is phenyl here it is phenyl so whenever the both the groups are in same plane our reactions are proceeds okay now here our uh, thiopas gene will treat it with the compound now here it converts the O C double bond yes O C double bond yes okay with the same plane with the same plane if it case of uh, opposite plane it cannot be possible that's why here uh, the anti diols will give the cis stilbin okay so followed by the trivalent phosphorus atom will give the cis stilbin whenever the same compound but another isomer here it is above the plane here also above the plane 
this is called syn syn diodes okay whenever the syn diodes the same reagent uh, but it will gives the trans as a merger product in a similar manner in similar manner so both are the same group so here both phenyl groups are oriented like opposite manner that's why we will get the very easily trans stilbene as a major product trans stilbene as a major product okay now so not only these this type of mechanism an alternative mechanism also possible for the like a core winter fragmentation i will discuss the, an alternative mechanism about the core winter fragmentation now we'll discuss the another method another alternative method for the uh, like a core winter fragmentation now here it is a phenyl so here it is the r group here it is r dash group okay now here it is a diols when about the syn diols can be converted into like dioxalones or the ortho uh, with the help of ortho phosphates or uh, aldehydes or ketones okay now here whenever we use the benzaldehyde in presence of acid or here r dash okay now here o here it is o so it it creates the like a two phenyl uh, two phenyl dioxolane two phenyl dioxolane now here one hydrogen is there so in presence of butyl lithiums like a organo lithium reagents now here the proton abstraction takes place now here it is creates the o o like a r r dash okay now here phenyl here it creates the negative as well as a lithium plus lithium plus so this negative charge will shift it towards the carbon oxygen bond okay now here it it creates the c double bond c now here it is eliminated as a co minus okay now here it creates the r dash r plus a phenyl c double bond o o minus phenyl c double bond o o minus which is a, having the lithium plus cation okay so now here it 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 follows through the dioxolane formation dioxolane formation not only benzaldehyde are ketone compounds now we used the like ortho formate esters or diphenyl acetals okay we used the such type of compounds we will get the olefins from diols okay so this is the simplest mechanism over the first one okay now we'll go to, uh, the main advantage of a core winter uh, fragmentation is here it forms the very sterically hindered olefins okay so some of the olefins cannot be prepared any other method but in this method we will prepare the strained olefin also now let us discuss the, uh, just uh, three or more examples regarding to the uh, like a core winter fragmentation okay now here we will prepare the very uh, enantio selective like e stereo like a e or trans actin trans actin okay now here it is a actin it is a cis actin so whenever we will uh, we will add the like a uh, uh, trans dihydroxylation products trans dihydroxylation product that is nothing but a prevost or a epoxide formation followed by the elimination now we will get the like a trans dihydroxylation product here it is above the plane here it is below the plane so this type of trans dihydroxyl product now we will use the like a, it is a pass gene thiopassgene in presence of a trivalent phosphorus atom now it requires a 100 to 140 degree centigrade temperature okay generally core winter reactions will required some heating temperature okay uh, I, I missed out over the starting okay it requires some heating also okay now here the trans olefins treated with a thiopassgene as well as a trivalent phosphorus atom now here it creates the now here it creates the trans like a trans actin trans actin not only the such type of uh, simple trans actin now here in the presence of uh, a core winter reaction we will prepare the twisting also okay twisting preparation twisting preparation now here so the simplest uh, uh, representation of twisting like this okay very easier method to write this twisting molecule now here it is oh it is oh okay so we used the like a uh, pass genes followed by the phosphorus atom pr3 okay now here methyl here methyl so we will get the twisting as a major product twisting as a major product 
one of the, one is the above the plane one is the normal plane now we will get the twisted so it is a very hindered molecule so even though hindered molecules uh, we will prepare the olefins okay not other roots other methods cannot be prepared uh, such type of olefins from the strained molecule so now i'll give, I'll give the another very important example regarding to the olefin formation so generally brett's rule uh, according to the brett's rule like a uh, bridge head carbon cannot participate at the like double bond formation bridge head carbon cannot participate at the double bond formation now here so there is no possibility here it forms the double bond with bridge head carbon okay now we we'll go through the okay so here it is the oh 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 now i used the thiopazine as a intermediate okay o c double bond yes O like this. So whenever we use the trivalent phosphorus atom, trivalent phosphorus atom. Now here it it is possible to prepare the double bond over there. So according to our previous uh, uh, our uh, previous examples as well as our mechanism, it prefers the double bond over there. Okay. So generally, double bond at the bridged position is not possible according to the Brett's rule. Okay, according to the Brett's rule, generally it is not possible. So, if there is no possibility, now here uh, small types of rings uh, are very strained molecules, like a uh, very strained one. So, now here the stra like a uh, small ring size, it prefers the to formation of olefins. Okay, so general natural elimination of uh, olefins cannot prefer the bridge head carbon as a double bond partner, as a double bond partner. Uh, please note that point. Now, here it creates the violation of Brett's double bonds, violation of Brett's double bonds. So, these are the best examples regarding to the like a uh, Corey Winter reaction. Now, I'll give the final examples, final example regarding to them. Okay, now here it is a diode, syn diode. Okay, sometimes questions are susceptible like this. So, here it is a Cyclopropane with the help of a Simmons Smith reaction will prepare the, so those type of cyclovolipines. Okay, now here like methyl, here it is also methyl. Okay, so so the first step we will use the benzaldehyde in presence of acidic medium. Benzaldehyde in presence of acidic medium. In second step, we use the butyl lithium organo organo lithium compounds organo lithium compounds in third step uh, we use the some heating now what will happen so this is the an alternative method of uh, uh, core winter reaction mechanism core winter reaction mechanism simply here it creates the double bond only here it creates the double bond only okay so this is the simplest method to prepare the olefins even though very steric crowding molecules even though very steric crowding molecules okay um, this is the core mechanism thank you for watching